few weeks ago, I had the great pleasure of speaking at the Writers League of the Villages Book Festival. Some of our life writers got together in the villages the night before my talk for drinks and dinner. We just had a great time hanging out face to face rather than on Zoom, meeting their spouses, hearing great stories, and laughing. Lots and lots of laughing. One conversation that night led to today's prompt. Hi, my name is Patricia Chapontier and welcome to episode 74 of the Life Writers blog where you can find inspiration and useful tips to help you write your life stories. I wasn't sitting at that table so I don't know what kicked off the conversation but somehow the topic of bingo came up and everyone started sharing bingo stories. I thought what a great prompt that would make. So here we are we're going to write about bingo today. The Catholic Church in our little town of Charenton in South Louisiana hosted a bingo game every month. I can't remember the details, but either on the first or the last Friday of every month, they had a bingo game in the church hall. My grandparents took me every month, and I absolutely loved it. I think I learned my numbers playing bingo. <laughs> but what I remember most were the hot dogs we bought for dinner, hot dogs with chili. There was no such thing as a hot dog without chili in South Louisiana. They also made the best popcorn balls I ever ate, before or since. Now, my grandmother took her bingo seriously. She played four or five cards at the same time, and there was no talking when the numbers were being called. Each number on the card had a little window, and you slid the little window closed when the priest, who was usually the caller, shouted out the number. Grandma kept a close eye on my card, too, to make sure I didn't miss any numbers or cover one by mistake that had not been called. The last game of the night was always cover your card. You had to close all the little windows on the bingo card. And that game went on for a good while. And there were always lots of groans when the last number needed came so close, but not the exact number people had on their cards. I always went home at the end of that night stuffed full of hot dogs and popcorn balls and tired. Sometimes I carried home a new Corningware dish or an embroidered apron made by one of the church ladies I had won as a prize. I loved bringing those home to my mom. Plus, I came home with an extra popcorn ball for the next day. What's your experience with bingo? Where you live, did you have regular bingo games? If so, did you and some of your family members attend? What was your experience at these games? Who did you go with? Do you remember winning big at some time or another? Did you play bingo at home with your siblings or cousins? Maybe you don't have bingo in your past. That's okay. But maybe you had some other regular card game or puzzle night or board game nights. As many of you know, I am a big fan of making a list as a way of brainstorming before you begin writing. It takes off the pressure of having to write something good and it gives you a chance to get your thoughts together before you actually start writing sentences and paragraphs. I'd like for you to start making a list of anything you can remember about bingo card games, anything like that when you were a kid. Maybe you play bingo or cards now. Write about that. Make a list of your thoughts and ideas about it and I'll let you know when three minutes are up.
Okay, time's up. How was that? I hope you have a few things on your list and it triggered a few memories you hadn't thought about in a while. Now use that list to write your story. When you finish, we would love to read your experience with bingo or other games. Post your piece below in the comments section. You can either post it as an MS Word or Adobe PDF document, or you can just copy and paste your text into the block. As always, remember, the only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. The only way to do this wrong is to not do it at all. Until next time, everybody, happy writing.